Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for the kind introduction. Uh, Dr. Kadirvel, the HOD of Electronics uh, Department uh, of uh, KPR Institute. Mr. S.P. Uh, uh, so Kausigan, the I ISF uh, IET Student Forum Coordinator. Uh, other uh, coordinators from the student side. Uh, uh, dear students, uh, I'm very happy to uh, address you uh, here uh, regarding the benefits of uh, the IETE. Uh, student forum and uh, specifically the student forum activities. Uh, so uh, I thought I will first uh, share my screen on the uh, benefits of IET. Then we will go into a discussion on what could be the various activities with respect to the ISF that you can organize and how you can uh, take the ISF to the next level. Uh, I'm very happy that, you know, uh, the this was KPR is one of the institutions where I have uh, been personally involved in uh, setting up the IET student forum. So it's very close to my heart that way. And uh, let me just start with the presentation. Uh, is my uh, slide visible? Are you able to uh, see the slide? Yes sir. yes, sir. Visible, sir. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so. Uh, uh, I have been uh, associated with the uh, IETE uh, for over uh, almost 17-18 uh, years. Uh, we started the uh, uh, Coimbatore sub-center of uh, IETE in 2004. Uh, and uh, this was for the western half of uh, western half of Tamil Nadu and uh, part of the south, southern uh, part of uh, Tamil Nadu. So this center uh, was the second center of IETE after Chennai. We started this in 2004. And uh, since 2004, uh, 2003 rather, this has been uh, the, one of the most vibrant uh, IETE centers. Uh, the second center of IETE, then uh, we actually helped uh, uh, Shivakashi and Erod also to become sub-centers uh, in the subsequent years. We also uh, groomed and uh, started ISF or IET student forums in over 100 plus colleges uh, all over Tamil Nadu, specifically the western half of Tamil Nadu. But we were instrumental in starting a lot of IET student forums in Coimbatore, in uh, uh, Nilgiri's district, in Tirupur district, Trichy, uh, Madurai, Shivakashi, uh, Erod, Salem, uh, Dindigal. These are the districts where we have been able to had more than 100 plus student forums. And uh, this journey continues uh, with respect to IET. So I used to be the uh, treasurer for almost a decade. Uh, for 10 years, I was the treasurer of the IET Coimbatore Center. Last year, before that, I was the secretary for uh, two years or uh, so. And last one year, I've been the vice chairman of the uh, Coimbatore Center. This Coimbatore Center is hosted uh, and uh, run by the faculty at Amrita Vishnu Vidya uh, University, uh, Coimbatore campus. Uh, as you know, Amrita is the number one private university in India and also an institution of eminence. And uh, we are very grateful to the Amrita uh, management for permitting us to run this professional society chapter not only benefiting our university, but more than 100 plus colleges in the vicinity of uh, the in the in the ju jurisdiction of this center. A lot of uh, activities have happened because of this. Now, uh, I thought I should, uh, you know, uh, you may be thinking, uh, you know, what is the benefit of uh, taking a professional society membership? I understand all of you are engineering students. Uh, mostly students of electronics and communication engineering. Uh, so at the outset, it is very important for any uh, engineering student uh, to take a professional society membership. The reason is a professional society membership in your area of specialization uh, helps you as a window to many things. You are in the in course to be uh, aware, to be abreast and connected to the latest technical trends and technical advances in your area. 
so if it is electronics and communication engineering or computer science and engineering or mechanical engineering or civil engineering or chemical engineering or aerospace engineering automotive engineering you need to be connected to a professional society the reason is this professional society gives you uh, up to date cutting edge latest information in your area of specialization and ideally you you were a student member and you continue that journey once you join a company you become an entrepreneur or you go for higher studies either way you connect you continue that association with the professional body or the professional society so that you are always abreast of the latest trends not only that having the society membership also opens a window of opportunities uh, while you are studying having a professional uh, member uh, membership get, gets you employability improves your employability options gives you access to so many activities seminars workshops uh, conferences training programs hobby clubs competitions project exhibitions where you are able to not only organize but also able to uh, uh, participate and get in these cutting edge activities so iete uh, is the body the indian body for uh, electronics and communication engineer to some extent electrical and electronics uh, engineering and also computer science and engineering more or less this is the oldest society it is formed in 1953 and uh, it's a leading professional society for electronics telecommunication uh, it computer science and everything and in fact uh, iete precedes computer society of india which is now emerged as the main body for computer science professionals iete was there in 1953 i believe computer society of india only started in 1965 now as a society um uh, you know uh, iete has a very wide base of more than 1.25 lakh members out of which almost half are professional members who work in companies in industries and in startups in uh, are entrepreneurs colleges universities or uh, government departments research agencies so almost half of the professional membership is uh, in uh, Uh, in prof in um, these kind of organizations and the other half is almost all of them are students we have more than 500 isf or iet student forum of which you are also uh, a very proud member now uh, uh, the professional members and the students are organized along 64 centers or 60 64 uh, centers or cities where uh, it is a hub of activity and as i mentioned this iet coimbatore center uh, is one of the 64 centers of iet and the professional activity of coimbatore and the, uh, the surrounding districts up to uh, including trichy coimbatore nilgiris uh, dindigal uh, trichy uh, madure all come under this uh, center of course erod there is a separate center and that takes care of the activity in erod and salem shivakashi uh, center takes care of the southern districts virudhanagar and all those districts uh, so on and so forth and this 64 uh, out of the 64 centers this coimbatore is one of the most vibrant centers as i mentioned this is a national society but uh, the office and the uh, organizing is done in by the faculty of amrita vishwavidyalaya pedam and amrita vishwavidyalaya pedam has given office space free of cost for the center so that we benefit other colleges and other universities as also amrita vishwavidyalaya pedam has allowed us to take up this activity in a very uh, you know uh, proactive manner because all of us the all the office bearers are in very senior uh, positions in the amrita vishwavidyalaya pedam the chairman is the uh, the electronics and communication hod Uh, i used to be the hod of um, uh, computer science uh, vice uh, assistant hod or vice chair of computer science and now i continue as the chair of chairman and hod for all accreditation and ranking activities in the university campus so uh, we are uh, very thankful to amrita for permitting it uh, us to do this so there are 64 centers in um, uh, india including one in kathmandu in uh, nepal i believe there is a center coming up in australia also 
IIT is recognized by them all the government departments and ministries like education ministry, science and technology ministry. And the government of India has given what is known as an SIRO or scientific and industrial research organization uh, uh, tag on IET and also a national eminence institution uh, for all purposes. And uh, IET, as I mentioned in the initial stages from 1953, has contributed a great deal to the government, to the policy making apparatus, to the uh, country's development especially in the early years like i mentioned in 1953 it was after independence there were probably 30 or 40 engineering colleges in india and iete started in 1953 did a lot of vocational courses training programs uh, skill development courses uh, which made a manpower available in the electronics and communication so that was in 1953 and that great service IET has done to nation building in 1953. So these uh, that vocational courses and skill development started in 1953. A lot of uh, manpower came for electronics, communication, and they filled all the government uh, departments like Duradarshan, All India Radio, I, uh, DRDO, ISRO. And it will be very interesting to note that many of the Duradarshan directors who after 30, 40 years now uh, more than 50, uh, almost 50 years now, you will find out that most of them are uh, um, IET uh, graduates of the vocational courses and the um, skill development co programs. Uh, many of them, most of the Duradarshan di directors have gone through some IET course, All India Radio, DRDO, many of the directors are uh, from that field, ISRO also. Now, of course, this was 1953 to 1970s. Now the situation has changed. Now, probably there are 5,000 plus engineering colleges in India. There is no dearth of uh, manpower. I mean, there are so many colleges, more than uh, half these colleges are not even able to fill uh, seats. So the IET has moved out of these uh, vocational and skill development courses because it's not, it's not needed. And I mean, you want to go for an engineering program, you can go for a BE or a BTEC. You don't need to go for a vocational program. But the situation was different in 1953. Today in 2021, uh, there is no need for having any vocational or skill development programs because engineering co colleges are dime a dozen. Even if you see the ITIs and polytechnics, very few are going because everybody can go for an engineering program. So now IET has focused, uh, changed the focus from vocational courses and skill development to continuing education. Now IET is providing skill development, continuing education uh, courses to, uh, to uh, working professionals at an affordable cost, as also IET is helping students start student forums and student chapters and benefiting them. IET is continuing to provide uh, policy support to the government of India through Apex forums. Every major policy of the government of India, whether it is 4G policy, spectrum allocation policy, cyber security policy, satellite communication, SATCOM policy, skill development policy, technology regulators, all these uh, major policies, there is an IETE hand. IETE is providing some support and every of these policies, the government of India asks IETE for policy inputs and IET conducts this kind of apex forums for uh, giving this and normally uh, these apex forums are discussion sessions where we uh, we bring a, a galaxy of speakers and they provide some guidelines and some recommendations and they are given to the government of India. IET is also a member of the engineering council of India. In the future it may happen, it is not yet happened now. But in the future, if you have a B.Tech degree, uh, say in electronics in, uh, or a B.E. degree in electronics and communication or electronics and instrumentation, in the future, what is going to happen is you will need to be also certified by the relevant professional society. Now it has not happened. It is still uh, uh, many engineers don't have to take IET membership. But in the future, maybe five years down the line, it may happen that any engineer, if you want to practice as an engineer in India, if you want to be a teacher, an engineering teacher or an engineering consultant, you need to have a, a, a society membership. Maybe 
or computer science uh, engineers would need to have computer science society of india iede uh, is very affordable you, you uh, electronics electrical may, ha may have to take iede membership or ieee membership it will become mandatory in the future so now what iet is doing a lot of uh, conferences workshops seminars conventions zonal seminars symposia are being happened now iet is focusing on continuing education skill development focusing on digital india and skill india platforms looking into cutting edge uh, technologies like smart cities uh, e waste 5g electronic standards it standards women empowerment and so on another very significant iet activity today is the the journals these are the best home grown indian journals uh, that are available uh, the highest impact factor electronics and communication journals in india are from iet which are which are indian i am not talking of ieee transactions which are not based in india these are the journals that are uh, you know our own indian uh, journals iet tech uh, journal of research uh, is uh, one of the very highly recommended journals has an impact factor of 2.33 and 23% only acceptance is there that means out of uh, uh, 10 papers that come to iet journal around eight of them are rejected that is the standard it keeps likewise the other journal iet technical review also has got an impact factor of 2.2 and a 16%, uh, that means out of 10 papers, at least nine of them are rejected. That is the, uh, the standard. And our journals are now published by Taylor and Frank Francis, a reputed publisher. They are all Scopus indexed. And there are close to now, as I mentioned, 500 plus uh, activity. Now, IED also gives a lot of awards. There are awards like fellowships, honorary fellowships, distinguished fellowships. There are other uh, awards for corporates awards for uh, uh, student branches, awards for students, awards for projects, awards for M.Tech thesis, B.Tech project, M.Tech uh, PhD thesis, so many awards are there, dime a dozen. And many of the greatest names in the industry, uh, in the country, uh, are uh, have been uh, recognized by IET as some fellow, either a distinguished fellow or an honorary fellow, includes the people's president, Dr. Kalam, uh, R. Chidambaram, the principal scientific advisor to the Prime Minister, uh, N. Vittal, who was the Chief Vigilance Commissioner of India, uh, Sunil Bharati Mittal, who is the Airtel founder, Anil Kakotkar, who is behind India's atomic bomb, uh, nuclear bomb programs, V. S. Ramamurthy, who is uh, who was the Science and Technology Secretary, C. N. R. Rao, great, one of the greatest scientists in the world, and so on. So. Uh, many of these people have got some IET award. They have contributed to IET. IET has so many awards. Dime at dozen. Now coming to the student forum. That is where we are. That is where you are. Obviously, the IET student forum is a great opportunity because you are not only able to get uh, access to the latest technology, the cutting edge uh, technologies that IET provides, but also you have a chance to organize these kind of activities. So the ISF uh, is an opportunity for that. ISF provides you that opportunity to organize so many events also because of the funding that is available. And ISF has a very generous thing, IESF, you can organize all kind of technical programs, special lectures, workshops, conferences, seminars, project exhibitions, symposia, and in any uh, of these activities that you do, whether you organize, whether you participate, whether you win a prize, whether you uh, get a part uh, participation certificate, a winner certificate, please understand you are allowed to use this IET logo. And this IET logo has got national visibility. Anywhere in the world, it is visible. So even if you are uh, and a member, having that logo, having that certificate, having that uh, ID card of IET gives you that employability before joining a company and after that also you continue that journey. So these kind of activities you can do, you can have project competitions, you can have industrial visit and also your life skills improve. So when you organize activities, your leadership, your um, teamwork, 
your organizational capability your leadership capability i, I don't call it soft skill i'll say life skill i think uh, soft skill is a very bad word life skills really improve so you have a double pronged benefit one through the technical activities either you can participate or organize you get benefit and plus when you organize you get this kind of your life skill improves and also it improves your employability so uh, yeah this is what i've been trying to tell you technical fairs competitions uh, exhibitions special lectures and also uh, isf members uh, you know in for all iete events uh, whether it is a national uh, symposiums or apex forums or uh, zonal seminars or uh, national paper, uh, paper contest there is always a concession in membership for iet members so if you are an iet corporate member or a student member many of these uh, conferences have a concession for uh, the iet members that's a great advantage of uh, iet and uh, as far as the membership is concerned uh, students of engineering college universities either in four years um, you get that and uh, once you complete uh, you become an isf member you can then take the professional membership called amiet or associate member of iet uh, even polytechnic students are allowed to take uh, see this is a very this is where iet stands out from iit first year uh, when you are an engineering student in the first year uh, you pay 600 rupees that membership is valid for four years now if you are taking an ieee membership i am not saying ieee don't take ieee is a is an international society iete is nothing but the indian version of ieee and of course ieee has its own reach because ieee goes is a global society does a lot of standards has got that ieee explore journals and all which perhaps iet doesn't have but at the same time this membership is very very cheap you take a 600 rupees uh, i mean you go to a mall one day you spend 600 bucks right you watch a movie you have some dinner uh, finished 600 rupees is gone so really actually speaking you just give 600 rupees in the first year it stays for four years it's a great uh, thing very cheap compared to an ieee membership second year it is 475 third year the, so it's a one time payment and you it's a this thing and you for having an isf minimum it used to be 50 members now they have even reduced that number to 35 members now you also get a a, a grant of 2000 rupees for uh, inaugurating your isf that is also reimbursed by iet you can call somebody from the center a nearby center they will come uh, saying and this is something i am very proud about isf student forum plaque uh, is sent by iet headquarters to the college i am uh, to be very honest with you i am responsible for this because i uh, the uh, probably 10 years back i pushed all the iet presidents that this is very much needed for every college the reason is uh, when some accreditation or affiliation uh, happens people ask for proof and this plaque of isf sitting in the principal's cabin or and the department may, uh, cabin is a big uh, you know it's proof of having that professional uh, thing now uh, every year depending upon the number of uh, students 40 rupees per student per year is uh, given back it used to be 50 now slightly they have reduced it it is 40 per student so you can imagine if you have 1000 students in your college who have taken iet membership for 40000 rupees you are getting every year so you have high membership part of the money is actually coming back to the college and this 40000 rupees you have 1000 members i'm just telling you electronics department electrical department computer science department everybody takes the membership uh, instrumentation department all four years i mean it's a uh, you, you at, at a 1000 students take membership every year 40000 is coming back and that money nobody is going to ask you you can do whatever activity you want nobody is going to question you and so on plus isf member is uh, also given a, a id card uh, with photograph one set of iet journals which i told you are the most highest rated in india uh, um, uh, as far as electronic indian journals high impact is given to the college and that can be put in the library 
and uh, isf there is a journal for isf members if you are an isf member you can send it to a journal of education of iet which 10 years your college can claim as a great achievement iet journal of education is meant only for students and your your paper comes there uh, your college can claim that for 5 years or 10 years they can claim that uh, as a great significant outcome or achievement and as i mentioned uh, isf members are welcome to attend technical programs in india at reduced registration fee almost all iet events there is some register uh, some concession for students and of course local centers like us we are also supporting uh, the we are probably not in a position to financially support because we have staff and we have to pay them our grant comes and it goes to the staff Uh, but we are able to give other support. We are able to give you speakers. We are able to connect with other the thing. And we used to have project contests because now it's Corona pandemic time. We were not able to do. But before that, we were having regular project contests. We were having. Uh, we conducted uh, ISF Congress. We conducted national technical paper contest for students. We had several. Every year we were conducting project contest and a uh, lot of students all across the. uh state were coming for these and we also provide support i mean kpr is wants to conduct an international conference or a national conference we allow you to use the logo we allow you to uh, you uh, you you can add if you uh, the office bearers in your committees we try to connect you to other uh, iet members and experts and speakers in the area and so on so all that kind of support is available from our local center of course earlier we were having a very big grant and we were even financially helping but now very difficult because we have to have two staff members and we have to pay them for the secretarial work uh, there is also a, a possibility you can talk to headquarters and get a hobby center and of course uh, all these i have already told you uh, and isf students are uh, also invited to become corporate members of iet once they graduate there is a concession for them that means uh, once you graduate and you take a professional membership of iet depending on your age it will cost you something like 6 to 7000 rupees but that uh, there there is a reduction in uh, for the the first 12 years after 12 months after graduation and how do you run your isf of course there is a faculty coordinator there is a there is a managing committee this is only a guideline so we are not insisting on this at all because every college has its own uh, system so we don't insist on this this is only a guideline you should have a managing committee six student members uh, two of them should retire these things may or may not happen but just like uh, some guideline is given it is not necessary to exactly follow this because once you become an isf nobody bothers i mean nobody in the sense that uh, interferes in your activity nobody asks you how you spend the money that is your decision and you are responsible for it but you uh, are required to send us periodical report you are also required to send headquarters uh, in delhi the report about your activities and that comes in the newsletter in the news magazine in the website and so on. i have already told you all these things so as i mentioned you know it is very important uh, that students must join isf for personal development and professional development this kind of double pronged benefit is there professional development in the sense that you are getting the access to the best journals you are getting access to concessional uh, registration in conferences you are getting access to the best journals conferences seminars you are able to get the latest trends in your field and of course when you have an isf you organize events also you participate and improve professionally but you also organize and improve your life skills in terms of personal development which really helps you in a very big way uh, so lot of as i mentioned lot of awards are there uh, for from iet uh, you know so many things are there number of annual awards medals prizes best paper awards are there awards for outstanding achievements research fellowship grants are there for phd and so on so i have come to the last uh, this is a, a glimpse of the uh, a glimpse of so many activities that you can do uh, student focused activities that you can do as an isf 
uh, you can part, you can have the ISF Congress participation, uh, which is an annual event and it's a very prestigious student event. See, every college will be running a symposium. You call it by any jazzy name or uh, something, but uh, they have no value to be very honest with you. I'm not blaming anybody. So you conduct some uh, virtuosa. So I see all funny names, you know, virtuosa. Uh, uh, and so many jazzy and cheesy names I see, but they have no, absolutely no value. But you participate in the IET Student Forum Congress, it is nationally acclaimed and uh, you have a participation certificate, you have a winner certificate, it is known throughout the country. Again, the National Technical Paper Contest is another event, student papers are being and some of the best papers even go to the journals. This uh, will give you so much of value. IET Journal of Education, IET Students Day, one set of journals. You can start a electronic hub, hobby club. You can have value added courses, skill development courses in cutting edge technologies, uh, uh, you know, through IET in a concessional rate, awards, interaction with us, the nearest professional center. I'm sorry, this is 40 rupees per year, per year. And a lot of credibility, image, visibility, uh, 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 autonomy where you can do things on your own nobody interferes you have full freedom to conduct the activity and uh, you have a plaque that is that can be kept in your principal's office or your HOD's office which you, which will be very beneficial for your accreditation and affiliation and finally uh, 2000 rupees seed money when you want to inaugurate it every year these are the at a glance this provides you with the uh, activities that uh, uh, an ISF can do. Oh, that's it. I thought I completed my slides. Uh, that's all from my side. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Friends, if you have any doubts or questions, you can ask now. Feel free to interact. Yeah. Is there something in the chat? No, nothing is there. Participants, if you have any questions, you can ask. Uh, so, Kausik, and how many members you have in your ISF? Sir, uh, as of now, uh, our past out finalists are the members, sir. Uh, based on our uh, webinar, I am uh, planning to have a uh, membership uh, around uh, 100, 100 members sir, within this month. Oh, very good, very good. Okay, uh, okay. Mostly uh, within this month, we will be able to achieve the uh, target, I think. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the more the member, one way is, uh, you know, when they are, uh, you can bundle that in the fees also. Okay, they are okay. paying the the more the number of members you know, some colleges do that and they are telling you know they get 40 50 thousand rupees from IET every year that is uh, you know actually speaking that budget is very high yes yes yes, yes. actually now previously we, we, we made it as compulsory mandatory for all the students that is the best thing to do yeah uh, yes sir but we received uh, around 15 thousand also sir for conducting various events uh, that's what I'm saying so many activities yes, sir. Can do and, you know uh, yes sir but uh, but at present, uh, college is not able to do that uh, kind of thing. They are not uh, ready to do the fund. So it is. Uh, we are trying to achieve as much as possible. Yeah, very good, very good. Our target is 100, sir. Yeah. One more yeah. thing I can uh, suggest you because there is some time. See, uh, you know, you are, your college may have a NSS unit. Uh, yes, sir, yes, yes, sir. The current event of here. Yeah, the, there, 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 there is an IA. You have an NSS unit. Okay. Uh, what you can do is uh, you can partner with the NSS unit and the CSI chapter 
and uh, you, you can go to some villages. Of course, Corona is an issue, but if uh, Corona is not there in those villages, you can partner with the NSS unit because the NSS unit will have adopted some village. Uh, they would have had some, uh, they already have gone to some village school and all. So your students can go and, uh, you know, help them, uh, the children there, teach them simple uh, uh, how to use computer and all. I'm not saying uh, um, Java and Oracle and all. I'm saying simple PowerPoint, simple uh, Word, uh, simple, um, uh, you know, Excel, those kind of simple, simple things. The students can go along, uh, IET student forum, uh, uh -huh. can go along with the NSS unit and do that. Like, in fact, we have given from the Coimbatore Center, we have given awards to these kind of uh, uh, student forums that are doing this kind of societal uh, social work. Okay, technical so, social work. Yes, yeah, yes. and already you are, you see, you don't have to do anything. NSS unit is already doing that. NSS yes, sir, unit yes, might be yes. going to that school and doing things. You just uh, have to complement or supplement their okay. efforts. So that's so, an activity our, that we are promoting. Okay, sure, sir. Our coordinators have to go along with those uh, service people. And yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, telling you, uh, I'm telling you, you know, when we are sending our ISF members or CSI members along with this NSS, uh, so they are so happy, you know, uh, you know, helping the children uh, do some simple computing, not big deal, you know, PowerPoint and yes, small, yes, small yes, things, yes. you know, uh, which is so helpful and so beneficial. Yes, sir. I got your point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great idea. Okay. Definitely, we will try to adapt this, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for your information, sir. Sir, I have a question, sir. Yes, ma'am. Sir, you told a lot about IET, sir. Uh, how does IET help in student placement, sir? So, uh, IET, uh, see, when when, a, when an employer is coming to you, right, uh, I take it, I make it very simple. When an employer is coming to interview you or select you, what are they looking for? See, already you, you are doing a B.Tech or a B.E. So you have some technical skill. Already you have some technical knowledge and technical skill. But what that employer wants to see in you is what are your other life skills and your attitude, right? So all the students in uh, your department or your college have got technical knowledge and technical skill. Knowledge and skill everybody has. Maybe you may be little more technically sound than the other student. That's a different thing. One of you may be slightly more technically competent or vice versa. But the employer is also looking at your at your attitude and your uh, uh, life skills. So when you are looking at life skills and uh, so when you are part of an association, uh, when you are uh, you are an office bearer of an IET student forum, that means you have been volunteering, you have been uh, uh, taking leadership, you have been organizing. Your life skill is much better, and it shows your attitude is also better. And this helps in uh, in uh, placement. When you are going for an interview, they definitely look for students who have some volunteering, who have got some uh, other activities, because that points out to life skills which includes leadership, organizing, interpersonal skills, uh, group dynamics. So those honesty, integrity, all these things they want to see. And they, when they say, see that you are part of an association, a club, a professional society, uh, they are very happy. And when you say professional society, see if you are part of a, uh, a music club is a different thing. Music is nothing to do with the technical thing. But when you are a part of a professional society, it is not only technical, but also the personal development in terms of life skills. So that is that I would think is a big takeaway, and the employers are very uh, uh, happy to see these kind of things. Have I answered your question? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, and the other thing, when did you came to know about IET, sir? So I, uh, when I joined as a faculty in Amrita, that was twenty years back. I joined in uh, Amrita in 2000, uh, 2000, if I'm not mistaken. It's now 21 years now, almost 21 years. Uh, not 21 years, actually, uh, 2000, I joined Amrita, but for a year and a half, I was on leave. I was in America for uh, some assignments, and uh, in between, I took a leave uh, 
of absence for a, almost a six months in US and around eight months in uh, Europe or something. But I was still employed here. I took a leave and loss of pay and went there for some, some specific assignments. So when I joined, uh, there was a I I was put as the uh, in the in the in a department of IT. One professor, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Gangadharan, uh, who used to run IET activities in, uh, in the army, came as our professor and HOD, and he was the HOD. I was the deputy HOD. So from 2003 or four, we started this activity. So through him only we came to know. In fact. He is responsible for, um, uh, you know, um, uh, help uh, guiding us. Otherwise, in Tamil Nadu, only few people in Chennai were knowing about IET. Nobody else was doing. So we only kind of popularized. And this Professor Gangadharan only uh, brought us into this uh, society. Thank you, sir. Any more questions? Friends, if you have any questions, you can ask. Sir, with this last question, we can end, sir. Yeah. Sir, can you share your best memories with IET, sir? Memory in the sense that uh, we have uh, we have organized uh, three or two or three um, national. See, there are some national events of IET uh, that happen, and uh, we have organized in Coimbatore in our campus. We have organized two or three of them. One was what is known as a uh, uh, IET Student for Congress. We conducted that I think four or five four years back or something. Uh, where the IET president had come. Then uh, we conducted a, a zonal seminar some time back. Again, the IET president had come. So th those are the memories. So uh, the, the IET president is one of the leaders in India uh, with respect to uh, technical uh, professional society. And uh, interestingly, the IET president is also a member of AICT, All India Council for Technical Education. I'm sure you know that uh, if your college has to run a BTEC program, it needs ACT approval. So he's a member of IIS. So it was a great experience that when we conducted these events and he complimented us uh, and he came to our uh, center to see. So those are the best moments, so as to speak. Thanks for sharing Thank your memory. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. I uh, wish you wish your uh, KPR institutions, uh, uh, IET Student Forum, all the best. I hope you go from strength to strength. And I come there uh, physically and I'm able to hand over the best uh, ISF uh, IET Student Forum in India award to you. I pray for such a situation. Thank you. All the best. Good day. Stay safe. Thank you, Kausik, and thank you uh, to all the coordinators. Keep in touch. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Valikan. Thank you, Livia Shri, and all the other uh, members. Uh, see you. So, uh, you can, uh, I will have one request. Uh, can you just send me the video of uh, this? So, uh, uh, I, I am I'm giving you my. Uh, uh, you search for this name uh, on Facebook and on YouTube, you will get my channel. Uh, Prashant Arnair, P R A S H A N T, space R, space N A I R. So there is a Facebook page and a uh, channel in YouTube in this name. So you we, we can stay connected where I uh, with activities. So I, if you are interested, you can uh, follow me on Facebook and on YouTube channel. And uh, Kausikan, can you send me this video uh, as well, early as possible? I will put it on my channel. Definitely, sir. Definitely. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very we, much. We will try to send it today by by the evening. That is that's great. Thank you so much. Thank Stay you. safe. Uh, all the best. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. It was a session. I request our ISF coordinator, Mr. S. P. Kausi, can share share few words. Thanks, uh, thanks, all the participants. Thanks for your cooperation. Thank you, everyone. And especially, sir, for the motivational speech. And we will try to. Achieve more of the things and we will take it to the next level. It's the main aim of this uh, webinar. Thank you, thank you all. Especially for
participants from other colleges. Thank you, thank you, Madam. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Participants, please don't leave the call. You have to fill the feedback form so that you can get your e certificate. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Feedback form link is shared in the message. Ah, please, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Feedback link. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Participants, please make use of it. Thank you. Gratitude is the altitude which will take you up to your latitude. I take a huge respect on thanking Dr. Prashant R. Nair sir for spending his valuable time with us. It's my honor to thank our management and our principal Dr. M. Akila ma'am for providing us this wonderful opportunity. I take pleasure to thank our HOD Dr. M. Kadirvelu sir and Mr. S. P. Kausigan sir for bringing out such a webinar. Without these people, this meet wouldn't have been possible. Myself, for taking privilege to thanking my coordinators. Last but not least, without you, this event wouldn't have been successful. I thank all the participants for your valuable presence. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.